my channel for any length of time, you'll know that I love horror novels, horror movies, anything scary, and I do have two videos up. It's a two-parter and they're far too long over my, I think it's called Halloween reading recommendations, but I get a lot of questions on what are my top horror novels, and I really wanted to have a video up that was just about my top, top favorites. So this is going to be my top five, and I think I have a good mix, especially if you haven't read a lot of horror. I have ones here that are more so concerning serial killers, others that are more so about, say, a dark, ominous, unknown presence, others that are, you know, monsters. But these are in no particular order, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first one is a classic, and that is Rosemary's Baby by Ira Levin. I wish I had my copy to hold and show to you because it was beautiful, and I think it was only, and I think it was from a year after it was released. I found it for like a dollar at my library in the sales section, but it has vanished. I've read a few other books by Ira Levin, but this is undoubtedly my favorite. I just love the atmosphere that he creates. I was watching a sort of mini documentary about him and someone worded it perfectly which is that Ira Levin creates these worlds that are just like our own but ever so slightly warped a little bit different. It's published in the 60s I want to say and in it a couple has moved into this beautiful old apartment building and some very creepy things begin to occur with their elderly neighbors in particular and I won't spoil what happens but if you don't know what Rosemary's Baby is about I mean you need to get updated on your pop culture. Next on my list is House of Leaves and I'm not even going to attempt to summarize this book because it is a th I think it's three layers a story within a story within a story essentially about a house that is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside so just take a moment to think about that some people absolutely hate the structure of this book I already took it to where I'm moving with some of my other favorite books so I don't have it here to flip through and show you but I do have a spoiler free review of this so I highly recommend that I'll, I'll link it up here but I know a lot of people get so immersed in this book and post it note it and scribble on it to death for me it was not I'll admit this life-changing book that I know it was for for a lot of other people but, but considering I do read I'm not I'm not saying I'm so incredibly tough but considering I do read and watch a lot of horror it takes a lot to scare me and this book really did and I loved the structure the book is massive I know it's very intimidating and a big commitment but you'll go through it at least I did a lot faster than you would think especially because once you get farther and farther and farther into the book some of the pages only have a few words on them if you're not interested in kind of an overall just creepy atmosphere or you're not interested in serial killers you want more so I wouldn't really call this a monster book, but those of you who have read it will know what I mean. But I would really recommend The Ruins if you're just looking for a fun beach read horror novel. That's not to say this isn't good. This book is incredibly, incredibly well done. But those of you who love horror novels will understand what I mean when I say this is just a fun book, but it's also very terrifying. This is about four friends, two couples who are vacationing in Mexico. I, I think they've either just graduated or they're still in college. But they decide to travel off the beaten path and check out some ruins and then horrifying gut-wrenching things start to occur. This is definitely I would say more violent than a lot of the other books that I'm recommending but but if you want a very action-packed and very terrifying horror novel I would recommend this and, the, and Scott Smith also does some really interesting things with their relationships between the two couples how, and how their interactions with each other progress and get more and more horrible as, as they slowly realize what a terrible situation they're in. If you have checked out the movie and you weren't a fan of it I would still say check this out. The ending if I remember correctly is totally different so it'll still be surprising. Number four was definitely a surprise hit for me and that was Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. Just in this world something outside when people look out their windows or step out doors. You're not sure if it's a violence or fucking aliens, but something they see causes them to almost immediately kill other people and then kill themselves. So half of this book is told from the point of view of this woman who is pregnant and it's as this is starting to occur throughout the world so she's hiding out in this boarded up building with these other people. You're kind of seeing the psychological ramifications of this very mixed group being forced to live in a home. And the other half of the book takes place a few years in the future when the woman now has two very small children. She's alone in a home and she decides to set out in an attempt to find this kind of sanctuary home for people she heard about once. So she heads out with these two children literally rowing down a river blindfolded. So half of the book is told with a no sight but it is done so well. This book is mentally terrifying, physically terrifying, some of the horrific things that happen. I was, I was so so surprised with this book in the best way possible. Absolutely horrifying. And the final book I'd recommend if you've been watching me for a while this should be no surprise I'm going to mention that and that is Intensity by Dean Koontz. Now I have a love-hate relationship with him. I hate half of its books. 
I like the others, um, but this is the only one that I really, really love. Now in this, a woman, I won't say why she does this because that would give away something big that happens in the beginning of the book, but she sets out to kind of track down and follow a serial killer. It all takes place, I want to say, within 40 hours. It is quite long, but it's incredibly action-packed, and if you want to read a good horror serial killer novel, this is, this is probably my favorite serial killer book that I've easily ever read. Most of the book is told from her point of view, but part of it is told from the killer. I enjoyed both their sections equally, and even if you've read Dean Coots and you're not a big fan of him, I know sometimes his books can like get really heavy-handed with the religion at the end. This book isn't like that, and I would highly recommend it either way. So those are my top five horror novels. I did want to say because I get a lot of questions from people on what Stephen King book would I recommend now. I, I haven't actually read a ton of Stephen King, maybe five books by him, but I would actually go with one of his newer books, and I've said this in comments to people when they ask, but I just wanted to share it here. But that is Full Dark, No Stars. This is four short stories, and I know a lot of people are going to say, why aren't you recommending The Shining or Carrie? Because I think a lot of people, honestly, if they checked out The Shining, I, li I liked it, but I think a lot of people would get bored and then maybe never pick up Stephen King again. But with this way, with a short story format, if you're not a fan of a story, you can skip to the other. But I highly recommend The Good Marriage. Or but honestly, you can probably find that online somewhere if you really wanted to. But so those are my favorite horror novels. Please, please let me know if you guys have a favorite one that you don't think I've checked out yet. Even if you're not sure if I've read it or not, just go ahead and recommend it down below. I don't know if you guys feel this way, but I personally think it's kind of hard to find really well-written horror because a lot of it is just very cheesy and a bit over the top. So please go ahead and leave me recommendations down below or let me know if you've read any of these and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!